Denise Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, June 5th. So today we do have the moon in Taurus energy going void, of course, at 4.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're moving into Gemini energy at 4.38 a.m., so a very small window of time that the moon will be void, of course, which, of course, is going to work in our favor. And moving into this Gemini energy, we're also opening up the new moon window. We have the new moon in Gemini popping off June 6th, and so we are building towards that peak energy. If you haven't listened to the June energy forecast already, I'm going to recommend you do so. There's an astro forecast out for this new moon in Gemini. I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to that. If you have your Gemini season e-guide available, I'm going to recommend that you flip to this particular section of the workbook and really capture what is going on, especially in the headspace. You can figure out where this new moon in Gemini is taking place in your life by downloading the June Zodiac forecast. And of course, if you're on this healing journey, and open to do some shadow work, I definitely recommend that you grab yourself a spot for this moon guide episode. An hour and a half of doing a deep dive in your own chart, understanding the Gemini energy, understanding what it is that you're supposed to be changing your mind about. This is going to give a lot more clarity to a lot of the confusion that's been popping off as of late. And of course, the whole point is to pivot. Pivot in our mental plane, open up that mind space, really see new options and opportunities, actually pressurize us into taking on a new path, a new direction. There's definitely a lot going on. The energy is going to intensify. And of course, take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week so that you can stay ahead of the physical manifestations that pop off in our bodies when this kind of potent energy starts kind of hitting the cosmic fan. So with all that being said, there are seven different aspects taking place here today, all seven of them involving the moon, which means that this is a moon day, an emotional refinement kind of day. It's very interesting, though, because Wednesdays, of course, are ruled over by Mercury. Mercury's in his rulership over Gemini season. He's in his rulership in Gemini energy, and he is building in another power placement as he rules over this new moon in Gemini as well. So there's going to be a lot of, I'm going to say, triggers and activations to get our heart and our head in alignment. And because we're feeding off of Jupiter and Pluto's trine, Mercury kind of entered into the mix here yesterday, and we just had Venus's star point pop off with the sun, we definitely have a lot of energies pressurizing our heart and our head to make a change and to get in alignment with one another. So with all of that being said, the moon in Taurus energy still, going to semi-square the North Node in Aries. So this is a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict. And as we kind of spoke about yesterday, the moon in Taurus likes to be very present, likes to be in the here and now. And the North Node is trying to get us to think about the future. And there's a little bit of resistance to do that right now because, again, we don't feel like we're in the right mind space, heart space, or physical space to take the action and make the moves, to make the change, to make the transformation that we know we're going to have to make in order to grow and to heal and to evolve and to find ourselves in a different spot in our reality. But we're not ready to do so just yet. And so the pressure to have us thinking about the future is really kind of getting to the moon in Taurus energy because again, we just want to ground and anchor into this present moment, have the attitude of gratitude for all that is going well. And again, being pressurized to think too far into the future is something that doesn't really feel good for this particular energy. The moon in Taurus then going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy. We love Pisces and Taurus energy working together because whatever it is that we can kind of imagine or visualize or be inspired to do or pursue from the Pisces energy, we're able to actually bring it into form, bring it into life, bring it into this physical realm through the Taurus energy. So this is kind of putting us in a situation where, yeah, we're grounded, we're connected to our physical bodies, we're aware of how it is that we're feeling, we're aware of the good, the bad, the ugly of our physical circumstances. But there's like a renewal happening here with this interaction. It's kind of renewing our soul space, renewing our idea of peace and harmony and happiness and joy. It's kind of renewing this particular visual 
of the goal, the vision, the dream that we're trying to actually build towards. This is a beautiful interaction to kind of send the moon in Taurus off, if you will. We are going to see the moon go void, of course, after this particular aspect. And as I previously mentioned, we're locking into the Gemini energy only about 20 minutes later. So a very short window of time of shakiness, of uncertainty, of the anxiety, of nervousness. And then we lock into that Gemini energy. We sit in that for a couple of hours, the moon in Gemini making its very first interaction, a positive one with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over our roles and responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower and discipline. He is in this Pisces energy. So Pisces energy and Gemini energy work very well together as well because we have the imagination, the creativity, the intuition, the vision, if you will, coming from the higher self of the Pisces energy. And then we can bring it down into the lower level intellect that, of course, uses logic and practicality, uses analyzation and the weeding process of what is going to stay and what is going to go and how we can kind of create a path, a plan, a strategy on how we're going to bring some of these ideas to life. Because Saturn is involved, there's a little bit of a reality check, not a harsh one, just a realization that in order for us to actually have a chance of bringing forth new systems, new structures, new routines, new relationships, new money matters, new goals, new visions, new dreams, we have to start somewhere. We have to start with a plan and that plan needs actual, factual, practical, logical structure to it. We have to kind of explore the different variables. We have to explore the different consequences to said actions before we are actually in a position to take said actions. And so this is going to help us kind of focus in, if you will, on the path, the plan, the strategy that we're excited and inspired to pursue. And because of that, we are again getting down to the nitty gritty, the finer details that need to be kind of put together in order for us to have a new foundation, a new structure to house these dreams, these goals, these visions upon. The moon in Gemini then going to trine beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. This is air on air action. This is what gives us our trine because Pluto and Jupiter and Mercury as of recent has been in this little I'm going to say powerhouse energy of change and transformation. The moon is now bringing the heart space into things. We are starting to kind of see where hidden information, hidden details now popping up in our consciousness, in our awareness, helping us to formulate a plan, a strategy on what it is that, again, we want to kind of pursue from here because there is a lot of energy in this Gemini sector, because there's a stellium growing, because we're really just hours away from this new moon in Gemini, which is pretty profound for some of the aspects in which they're creating. This is putting us in a situation where we understand what has to change, what, what we have to transform as far as our emotional disposition goes in order to align with the headspace. This is putting us in a situation to feel empowered. We're gaining insight. We're gaining clarity. And therefore, we're feeling a lot more stable, a lot more sure, a lot more certain of what it is that we need to do and what it is that we need to pursue. The moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with Jupiter. Jupiter, again, he is ruling over our growth, over our expansion of our comfort zone, wisdom. He is really putting us in a situation in this Gemini energy to kind of blend intuition with intellect, to kind of bring forth wisdom and knowledge. And of course, right now, being at the very beginning degrees of this Gemini transit, we're kind of divided on the options, on the opportunities that we have to choose from at this particular point in time. A lot of that either staying the same or pushing the boundaries and of course, growing and evolving. Now, this is a conjunction, which means that it is just as much an ending as it is a beginning. The ending is the lack of confidence, the lack of confusion, or should I say lack of clarity leading to confusion, the lack of not really knowing what it is that we feel a passion, a desire, an inspiration to actually pursue because we're being challenged at this particular point to trust our intuition and our intellect. This is a beginning point of realizing where it is that we're building ourselves up towards a certain choice point. 
towards a certain option. And again, if you've been listening to me kind of rattle on for the last couple of days, just a reminder, we're in the process of elimination. The process of elimination is removing options from the plate that we have to choose from and therefore providing us with a little bit more clarity on some of the options that we should actually be pursuing. The moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with Mercury in this Gemini energy. Mercury rules over the Gemini energy that the moon is currently in. So this is, again, another ending, yet another beginning. This is our heart space, the moon, the head space, Mercury on the same page, on the same page, thinking about the same path, the same direction, the same option, the same opportunity, the same choice point that we're actually feeling pretty good about. Again, building in our confidence, building in our optimism that we have what it takes at this particular moment in time to actually see the long-term path, the long-term plan, the long-term strategy. Now mentally take a picture of this because it's not gonna last very long. The clarity as quick as it comes is going to leave just as quick, leaving us in a state of confusion, especially as we transit through this new moon in Gemini. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Gemini energy, semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. So this is going to kind of bring all the wounds to the surface. Maybe this is when the confusion kicks in. Maybe this is when you step back and realize, whew, that vision that I just had, that excitement that I just experienced for good things to come, really going to require me to be a different version of self, really going to have to cut the crap, got to boss up, got to be more accountable, got to be more responsible for my energy, for my actions, for my intentions. So this is when we're kind of not feeling hot, not feeling cute at all. When we're sitting in the confusion, when we're not seeing our strengths, not seeing our worth, not seeing our value, and therefore Debbie Downer kicks in, suddenly we're beating ourselves up and breaking ourselves down. Of course, this needs to happen as we approach the new moon. The new moon is the dark phase of the moon, meaning we have to sit in the funk. We have to sit in the darkness. We have to experience tension and conflict to figure out what it is that we no longer want to experience, what we no longer want to pour into. This in turn going to create a framework on what it is that we would prefer instead. Thus, the new seeds that we are going to be planting as far as magical moon intentions go under this new moon in Gemini. <laughs>